I'm not sure how much energy um, you could be able to fit on a solar panel that would fit on a bike. So um, I'm interested to see how well it goes. But yeah, we have a lot of sun. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully okay, I'll, it'll work. I'm also interested in that and waiting for that. So this then. Hello guys, welcome to Goku Tech. If today is your first time here, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification icon below. So today I'm here with Hector. We are here to discuss about the state of the tech industry in Ghana. We will be talking about the current tech news going on, job opportunities, hackathons coming on, and some other stuff. Stay tuned. So Hector, as we said, uh, state of the tech industry in Ghana. So today we have in the news that Vodafone is about to sell their share to Teleso. They are 70% share in the then called Ghana Telecom to Teleso. What's your take in that? What, do you, what are some of the advantages that it will bring to Ghana and its advantages? Um, well, I think that depends on what Teleso has planned. Uh, from, from what I'm understanding, they don't plan to continue operating. They also plan to sell the shares that they are now acquiring um, to someone else. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that's what well, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about that, okay. but that's what I've heard as well. Um, so I think it's, it's, it's indicative of the way um, MTN has had close to a monopoly on the telco market in Ghana. Uh, Vodafone used to be one of their strongest competitors. Airtel and Tigo, not so much, but like, um, Vodafone and MTN were maybe battling at the top, but you can tell from this sale that Vodafone is struggling and are no longer um, really considering themselves competition for MTN. So, I mean, there might be some implications there, so it might allow MTN to take more bolder steps because they'll feel more like a monopoly now. So that might not be good for you know their prices and things like that. Uh, those are my thoughts on it. Oh, okay. okay. So uh, I also heard about this uh, new company in Ghana. I don't know if it's new. I may be wrong. They are called Kuf Technology. They are said to launch an electric motorcycle here in Ghana. What's your take on that? Too? That's really looking at the electricity <laughs> stage here in Ghana. Yeah. Is it a good idea? Um, so, um, going to renewable energy is always good, but usually it, it's something that's happening in com in countries where you know their basic electricity is already you know stable, um, and that's not necessarily the case in Ghana. Um, but yes, renewable energy, if if that's what this is, would be a good step for Ghana. Um, if it, but like if it comes down to we are going to be using the same ECG to charge these bikes. I don't think there's enough energy to go around. Comparing the petrol price here in Ghana now to the electricity motorcycle, which one will be your take? Yeah, I mean, it would definitely make sense the way the fuel prices are going up to maybe try and use electricity. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think electricity will be more expensive than fuel is right now. Um, so it it's it could it could work but it's very dicey <laughs> yeah. okay there is another one called uh, solar taxi they manufacture solar cars yeah. in ghana here i heard recently they will be manuf uh, they are putting on motorcycles which are which are powered by solar uh, panel so that uh, they can be using for delivery for that to host your take now that ghana here the sun shines almost 24 hours and we don't use it for anything profitable right oh um, yeah i've always thought that solar energy is something that ghana should invest more in so i think that's really interesting um but solar panels are very um inefficient in processing energy so like the amount of light that hits solar panels that is translated into energy is it's a very small percent so i'm not sure how much energy um, you could be able to fit on a solar panel that would fit on a bike. So um, I'm interested to see how well it goes. But yeah, we have a lot of sun. So 
yeah hopefully okay, I'll, it will work. i'm also interested in that and waiting for that so this is the interesting part of something coming up PyCon ghana has been hot for two years now because of the COVID. COVID. and recently in the news i heard it will be coming back on october 13 to 15. and for me i'm really excited because i'll surely be there what about you i'm i'm excited as well uh I feel like if I if I can go for it, I, I definitely will try. Because um, yeah, it's it's not often that you get any sort of um, software related conventions in Ghana. So yes, it's very exciting. There is also a Java group that has been circulating around. Yes, I saw them on LinkedIn. I joined some few times. Is there also is that also an, a good initiative here in Ghana as comp- looking at the tech market, in the country? Yes, definitely. Um, Java is one of those softwares, um, programming languages that you just know will just never die. Um, it's going to be around for a while, and it's been around for a while, so it's it's good to you know um, get into a Java group um, if you are interested in the language. Yeah, and just any programming language, any group where people can come together and discuss software engineering and software engineering concepts is always good for country okay we also have one other thing that is mtn momo hackathon and ideas have mission is ongoing it will be ending on uh, that's 14th of august is this something that people who are not yet employed because there are many people out there that they are software engineers they are not getting job opportunities and other things is it a good idea for them also to submit their ideas for these kind of programs to partake in yeah, definitely. I feel like um, if you don't have to go out of your way to start working on something especially. Um, so if you maybe already had ideas that you are just looking for funding for, you know, hackathons are a good way to get those fundings. Um, so yeah, I feel like anybody who feels like they um, can use this opportunity should go ahead. That's very really nice. So one other company is employing people. Ten Table Ghana is employing graduates, fresh graduates from university. If you're interested, I'll be leaving the link under the description with a link to the hackathon under the description of my of this video. So you can click on those links and submit your CVs and your forms and your ideas. So another thing is, is Google employing? Yeah, um, Ghana, Google Ghana. Are they still employing? Um, so there's there's been a lot of intake so i think there's a, a slight pause but they will resume employing um i'm not sure when exactly so i can't make any promises but um there's definitely spaces um that are yet to be filled in google ghana so eventually they will resume employing and i'll let you know so that you can let your viewers know okay sure yeah. so stay tuned to the channel he will let me know so that i'll leave the d- link under the description for you so your last question is uh iPhone or Android? Which is your take? Um, I personally prefer iPhone. iPhone. <laughs> Why? Um, just so the the software experience on on the iPhone iOS is just built to be just very smooth, and you know for a while that was its. I mean, Android is catching up little by little, but for a while just that smoothness, just that feeling of like really being immersed in the phone, having that feeling that it was designed for you to use it as easily as possible. That's that's what drew me to iOS and okay. iPhone. Thank you very much. Thank you for today's episode on the state of the tech industry in Ghana. Stay tuned. Please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification icon. Peace.